One of the easiest ways to make money online in today's world is by selling digital products. And in my previous video, I shared how you can use Canva to make money for yourself. And one of the things I shared in the video is selling YouTube intro and outro. And most of you requested that I do a tutorial on that. And that is why I'm making this video to teach you how you can create a cinematic YouTube intro and outro that blows minds. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, please, let's dive in. So to get started, come over to Canva and type in YouTube intro. And here is the YouTube intro templates. You have lots of templates here. You can see that the number of templates here is 2,490. So you have a lot of templates to play with. And now all you have to do is to just scroll down and pick any template that you want. So I'm going to just randomly pick a template. I think I like this one. It looks cinematic. And this is the template right here. Now, one of the reasons why I love Canva so much is that they know how to show you what you want or what you want to see or the things, kind of things that you like. So when you pick a template like this, they are going to give you some other suggestions of similar templates that you might also like. So what I do first before I start customizing is I scroll down and see related templates that I could actually use. And as you can see, they've suggested 25 templates. All I have to do is just scan through and see if there's anything that I would like. And of course, I think this is good. And what I'm going to do is to simply right click and click on open in a new tab. Then I come over here, come back to the main template that I opened and click on customize this template. Here is the template. And to customize it, the first thing you need to do is to maybe you want to change the write up to anything that you want. So all you have to do is just click here and write whatever it is that you want. It could be welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. It could be anything, right? So you just choose to customize it any way you want. So in this template, there's a lot of things that is going on. And one of the major thing is the transition between one video frame to the other. So these are video frames. So you can see that if you come here, you have these videos that are going to play out over time. So if you want to customize this now, frame one, all we have to do is to click on it and then click on the video. So this is a video and you come to element or you come to your upload and choose your video. Of course, you're going to use a video of you. So if you don't have a video of you already in your Canva, what you can do is you have two options. You have an option one of recording yourself, which I don't advise because the video would look very terrible because it's going to be using your webcam, your laptop webcam, which, ah, it's nothing to write home about. The next option is upload files. Click on upload files to select the videos that you're going to use for the intro. Now, I want you to remember that you are going to be doing this for people. So they are going to be sending you their own videos. But first, you need to customize this so that you can put it on the platforms that you're going to be selling the intros and outros on. Maybe Fiverr and other 21 Fiverr alternatives. Remember, I've done a video in the past where I shared 21 Fiverr alternatives. Now, creating an account on these Fiverr alternatives will give you a lot of opportunities, will open doors to a lot of opportunities for you to make a lot of sales because in a day, on a daily basis at least, you have 21 accounts. There's no way you will not get up to five others from either of the account or from one account or maybe multiple of them. So that's why I advise go here right now to watch the video, obviously, after watching this video. Now, I'm going to leave the link in the description as well so that you can go through it after watching this video. Now, but the first thing you need to do is that you need to customize the template that you're going to use as sample, maybe on your Instagram page, maybe on your WhatsApp status, if you want to just do the basic freelancing that you're going to be getting customers on your own. So you can use your Instagram um, account to actually promote your intros and outros and people are going to, you know, contact you, pay you for their intros and outros, or you can use Twitter, you know, you can post it on Twitter or even TikTok. You can post your intros and outros on TikTok. You can also upload the samples on the freelancing platforms. All you have to do is go ahead and upload your files and go over to wherever your video is and upload the video. So now I've uploaded the video. All I have to do is to just drag and drop on any frame that I want it on. So let's just drop it on this first one. And then we can grab another video and drop it here. And you can grab another video and drop it here. And you can grab another video 
and drop it like so and grab another video and drop it like so so these are just samples for the sake of this tutorial but you're going to take your time and find good videos good matching videos so if you're going to request videos from your clients make sure that you request high res videos that's 4k videos or at least a HD quality video and make sure that the background is right and the costume whatever is right so because this is actually what sets the tone for a YouTube channel especially vlog channels right so if it's a vlog channel it has to be something that you know the client has done in the past maybe all the the movement or whatever you know interesting parts of the vlogs that the client has done you just drag those videos and put them here and you're good to go all right let's play it now and see how it looks so now the frame is correct and everything is accurate and you can also come over here to make some corrections if you want to so let me just increase it a little bit and i think welcome to my channel is very nice you can also choose to change the font if you want to yes so depending on the tone of your channel you can choose to you know change the font you know do something fun a little bit and that will be totally fine and you can also choose to make it bold you know make it more visible anyhow you want it is actually very fine and then let's reduce the line spacing let's reduce the line spacing yep so something like this looks very okay. So that's it for intro. Let's quickly jump over to the tutorial for the outro. Now you can apply the same customization method to as many templates as you want. Just make sure you select a very, very, very high engaging template so that by the time you finish the customization, your clients will love it. Now let's move over to the outro and all you have to do is to replace this intro with outro. So here are amazing YouTube outros that you can actually work with and there are so many ways and so many types of them. You can actually work with this. Let's click on open link in a new tab. Click on this and there are so many others that you can actually work with and um, I love this one as it is. So let's use this one also. So I'm going to go ahead and open this click on it, open this. Now all you have to do, like I said previously, is also scroll down to see if you can see anything that you love. And if you see anything you love, you can either click on favorite to add it to your favorite so that you can easily find them whenever you want to deliver them to your clients. So you just click on favorite to have it saved on your Canva page so that you can always get to it immediately you want to see it. So that's it. After that, you just come over here and click on customize this template. So now we have the template opened and ready to be edited. And then you can go ahead and edit anything that you want to do here. And yes, we want to keep the subscribe and then maybe remove this one. But the first thing you need to do is to change this picture. So let me quickly do that. You come over to your pictures and you have this, you just drag and drop and you change the picture. And here you see subscribe. This is okay, but I would love to keep it straight. So you have to use something that works for your clients. If it's new video every week, then fine. For me, I post new videos every Sunday, Wednesday and Friday. And that would be too long to write here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this and leave subscribe only so i'm just going to align it with this to look good and then the next thing you want to do is to add a little bit of background to it or you know just add something here to make it stand out a little bit so you click on effect and um, you add like shadow yes let's add shadow you come over here and click on black and you have your shadow now you can actually select the offset of the shadow or you increase the blur, okay? And increase the transparency so that we'll have it quite visible. And you can also go ahead and change the color to have a cohesive color with your, maybe you have my kind of um, profile picture or maybe your client has the same type of profile picture. All you have to do is to select this, select this to change the color or you can use the color picker tool and collect this and come over here to select the same color okay 
use the Pika tool to select the color and you have something like this, but I don't like the color is quite dim, but we are going to come back to this. Let's quickly change the background video. So all you have to do is if you have a very good video or if your client has plenty of good videos, you can actually use that. But if not, you just come over here and search for something related to the client's channel. So I'm going to search for money so that I can get videos, you know, related to money and then slap it here in the background. So here we'll have this right now and it looks okay. Let's go over to the effects and try something again. Or we can simply use this background formats and add some background to it. So now we'll remove the roundness, the spread, we'll reduce the spread and the transparency. We, you know, okay, we'll leave the transparency the way it is. And then you come to color act black. You can even add, please subscribe to this. So all you have to do to add that is to make sure that you select this one first and take it to the end. Okay, take this to the end and then click on this and write, please subscribe. Now we'll have something like this and then you can choose to increase this one, increase this one to this point. And looking at this, the background color is not really matching with the you know, picture profile. So all we have to do is to click here and click on the color picker tool. That is this one. And then come over here and click on this one to have something brighter that is cohesive with this. And then you align this together with this so that it looks like it's the same picture. So now we have something amazing like this. Very okay. And then you can also choose to click on this and reduce the transparency so that it looks a little bit dark and we already have white as the background so we're going to change this white to black so that we'll have something a little bit darker to make everything here very visible so you change you still reduce the transparency to something like this and we have this it's very okay and then for the video frames it's good to have the same color with what you have here so if that works for you you can just select the video frame and then come over here and click here and then click on color picker tool and change the same color to this. Then you click on this one and do the same thing. Click on here and click on the color picker tool and click on the color. And then for the video, all you have to do is to just drag and drop your video. So we are going to drop the video here. So now we have this amazing look. We'll have something cohesive. We'll have the the colors and everything cohesive. And another interesting thing you can do is you can choose to change this color actually to the background color so that um, you try and see if it, that is going to work. So something like this is also okay. Just let your creativity run wild. And now we'll have something like this. So whatever works for you is totally fine. Now we have a template of our own that we have actually changed the looks and everything. So you can resell this template as it is. And if you're going to be doing that, all you have to do is to come over to share and you're going to get the editable link. To get that, all you have to do is to click on more and you will see view only, you will see LMS, you will see template link and you see brand templates. So we're going to just go over to the template link. So you have the link to the template. So here is the link to the template and this is the link you're going to be sharing with your clients. Once they make a purchase of the templates, you are now going to give them the link where they can be able to edit it with their colors, change their videos and everything, and then start using the template. So it's amazing like that. So to test this link out, all we have to do is to go over to incognito mode and paste this here and then click on enter. So now we have the template ready to use. This is exactly what your client will be seeing. Your clients won't have access to your, your Canva account. No, they will not have access to your Canva account. They'll just have access to this template. And all they have to do is to just click on use template. If they are logged in in their system or their mobile phone, once they click on use template, it's going to open the Canva and let them edit it. If they are not logged in, it's going to show them this where they can now log in and make edits. There are two interesting things I want you to know. Number one, if you're offering this on Fiverr or its alternative, what you're going to do to have different prices for the same template is simply come over to share and go over to download. And then you have option of 720p, you have option of 1080p, and then you have 4K option. And then for the basic gig, you can have the 720p p and you charge maybe ten dollars for that for the basic gig and then for the standard gig you can have 1080p and you can charge fifteen dollars for that and then 
for the 4K resolution, you can have the same video, the same everything, but you're going to be giving it for $20 or $25 because it's 4K. There will be a trust me, trust me, a lot of people will want the 4K. So all you have to do is to just click on download and you have the template downloaded to your device and then you can now forward it to your client that the job is ready and collect your pay check. And then the second interesting thing that I want to share with you is that you cannot do most of this customization without a Canva Pro account. And that is why I'm offering you a Canva Pro account because I want you guys to really, really make money with Canva. And if you don't have money to subscribe for Canva, please click the video in the description. I have a video where I explain how you can get Canva Pro for free. Make sure you watch the video to the end so you can get your own Canva Pro for free and start creating and making money with Canva. Yeah.